to me, Guru is the highest title that um, we have in our languages. And Guru, and also it is something that I find integrates all of India. Wherever you go, the respect for gurus as teachers of wisdom about open, dynamic living uh, as taught by gurus. That is what holds us as a country together. Not any particular religion or language, but this honoring, touching the feet of the Guru. When we travel anywhere in India, you will still find grannies in villages telling their grandkids, touch the Guru's feet. And he has walked all the way from the south. So you take the dust of those feet which have traveled far and wide. So Guru belongs, Narayana Guru belongs to this tradition of perennial wisdom teachers. While this um, temple entry, Vaikam temple entry, Satyagraha, where Gandhiji's followers um, and Gandhiji himself came, as well as like E.V. Ramaswamy Naikar Periyar from Tamil Nadu came. And Guru had an ashram in that place, Vaikam. And Guru's ashram was fully left to the disposal of the Satyagrahis. And Guru also asked his followers to wear khadar, khadi. So, uh, but I also must mention uh, is a difference that I see between these two great uh, men. One who could be called um, Rajya Guru, for example, yeah. and um, another one who I would say a Jagat Guru in its real sense. Gandhiji insisted on calling himself a Sanatani Hindu right till the end. Guru said he has left all caste and religious differences, that he did not belong to any caste or religion that existed at his time. So Guru, instead of feeling that he was a victim, he Total, through total non-violent means, acquired those very tools and like this poem on caste. Uh, it's called a critique of caste. It's interestingly, the first verse is in Sanskrit and the remaining five verses are in Malayalam, which was the local language. Because it is through Sanskrit that the idea of caste became so rigid and oppressive. So, but that the poetic justice involved in this, how and um, why, why did he compose this one verse alone in Sanskrit? So it was addressing the 
perpetrators of such uh, practices in their own terms, in their own language. Whereas the rest of the poem is simple uh, and for the people to follow what he and his first verse in Sanskrit says man's humaneness or humanity marks out the human caste or humankind. And then he goes on in Malayalam to say oh, one caste, one faith, one God, etc. One caste, one faith, one God. Yes. Nadraja Guru also restates this in more acceptable terms. He says one kind of one kind of one faith and of one goal. He substitutes goal for God. And he explains that to us as not wanting to exclude so-called atheists. It is not knowing something as a, as you know, some subject you study. And this is where we often go wrong, that we try to know this knowable or to be known self as an object. It is not an object, it is the subject. And only way of knowing it is by going inward. Yeah. Introspection or meditation, whatever you call it. But it is a uh, it's not outward facing, it's inward. It's facing. an inward journey. 